What is up, y'all? It's the Eric V, your stream teacher, and I've been waiting to make this video for a very long time. Around last year or something, I made a video or a series of videos of how you can stream using your Xbox One without the use of a capture card. At that time, the Xbox Series X wasn't out yet, but when the Xbox Series X and S came out, you still couldn't use the method that I described in that video, but now you can, but it's slightly different. So what I'm gonna go through is exactly how that process goes now so that you can stream using your Xbox Series X or S. And this will give you the ability to put it in OBS and have your alerts and the bells and whistles like all the, the big streamers have. Let's get into what you're gonna need before we get into the actual process. You need a Windows 10 or 11 computer. You need to have an Xbox Series X or S. A fast internet connection is suggested strongly. I have fiber internet, I have 300 megabits down and up on any given day. So that makes streaming the console to the computer as well as streaming the stream to the world a lot easier for me. So now that you've got those things, let's get into the actual process. Class is in session. This method works pretty much the same way the Xbox One method worked in the video that I made of maybe a year ago now, but now we can finally do it on Xbox series console. So I'll show you how to do that now. So it's a different console and it's a different app. So we're gonna open up OBS and I am using Windows 11, but Windows 10 works the exact same way. So we're opening up OBS Studio. It works the same way in Streamlabs as well. Um, so once we've done that, I am going to open up the Xbox app. Again, works the same way in Windows 10. And if you look in the upper right corner, as soon as this loads, you will see consoles there. And as long as your console is on the same internet connection as your, I don't even know if it matters. It may not even matter. You might not even have to be on the same network because it works on my phone no matter what network I'm on. But anyway, as far as I know, if your Xbox is online, your computer is online, for sure, if they're both on the same network, you click on consoles and you will see your list of consoles. I have one Xbox. It shows the Series X right there. So I'm going to click on that and it is going to load up. And that takes a few seconds. I'll not speed up the video so you can show the real time or so you can see the real time rather. And boom, we're already in. So what we're going to do is click on the restore button so it's not full screen and that gives us the room to move around and manipulate the rest of our computer now normally when i open up this window at least for the first time i did it the box was like this and if you capture the window when it's at this point oh that's great anyway this is why it's best to get a capture card but this is a decent alternative <laughs> anyway you'll notice that there's black bars on the top and bottom. So what I like to do is get the black bars out of the way and I resize that window until I don't see any black bars. So you're trying to simulate a 16 by nine aspect ratio basically. So once that's done, we are clicking on the plus sign and then we are going to click on window capture and you can name this Xbox if you want, Series X, Series S, whatever and you are clicking on window and here it is right here xbox pc app.exe colon xbox you click on that xbox pops right up and we click ok and now we can play on our xbox from our computer without the use of a capture card and i will resize this to fit to my screen and we'll do a little bit of gameplay just to show you how solid it is as you saw it did drop almost immediately so it's still not going to be as good as a legit capture card but it is a better alternative than streaming directly from your xbox to the twitch app um but yeah let's grab a controller and let's see what our game looks like all right now that i'm back we are going to attempt and I'm a little nervous to attempt it, to be honest. I'm going to attempt Forza Horizon 4. You see, it doesn't look bad. This 
does not look as good as a capture card. Again, I'm trying to make that very clear, and I'm a very bad driver today. But, um, you know, feel free to see more great driving from me on my Twitch channel. But, yeah, it works. Um, it's more suitable for, I would say, maybe a beat em up game or just something that's a little less um, twitchy. You know, I wouldn't play Tekken 7 without a capture card, without at least looking at my TV so that I can properly play the game because I'm not even near my TV right now. But if you're near your TV and you just want to capture that window, you're fine. You're good to go. So that's it, y'all. It's pretty easy. Like I said earlier, I like to still look at my TV as I stream. So even though there's a little bit of lag, a little bit of latency in the streaming process, that's not something you see if you still have clear sight of your television. So much better than streaming directly from the console. You just have a lot more options and a lot more control over your stream and how it's presented to your viewers. So with that, happy streaming. If it helped you out, feel free to like it. If you think it'll help somebody else out, feel free to share that video to them. If you have any questions, leave a comment or you can just stop by my Twitch stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Saturday. That's it, class dismissed. No, no, I'm not about to die in a motorcycle accident. F you. I should have gotten a car. That's what I should have did. They had the bike set up for me, though. This is what they wanted me to do. Used to play it at schools. Hey, oh! <laughs> no! <laughs>